Hello guys, if you do not know me, my name is Kayla Rundle and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today my axle boots broke and I will be replacing them. I currently run on the G-Force Renegade axles. The axles themselves seem to be fine, it was just the boots exploded because of how low I was sitting. I had an extra 200 pounds of weight in my trunk on the road trip so the boots were rubbing together and they kind of split themselves open. I'll show you guys the damage on those. So that one, you can see the grease is everywhere, all right in there. And even the second boot came apart as well. And the grease is all in there. And it got all in, all over my wheel, which I just cleaned in the, <laughs> a couple of videos ago. And I just ceramic coated those as well. So I was like, that grease should not be sticking. So that definitely told me something was wrong. I actually found out these exploded from a photo that Alan here at GPI took. So I reached out to GPI. I was about to send them in, but figured out it's just the boots after I had a few people look at them. And I got sent in these guys for the boots along with new clamps as well. I'm just gonna be doing this on the passenger side of the car. So I don't have to do double the work on the other side. So we'll get that fixed. And then we will be doing the brake kit next and hopefully the motors next week. First, I got to get the car fixed so it actually drives. out these pins all right I punched through these little clips on the brake calipers it helps if you hold back the bracket and then pull out the pins and it'll slide out then you can slide out the brake pads straight out Better? Spin that, yeah. Oh my god. Are you you sure? Is it you gonna got it. They're gonna go everywhere? No, nah, no, nah, it won't go everywhere. It just goes some places. Wow. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sure it's safe. I've had AC lines explode on me and it's really scary. That's an AC line. <laughs> That's different. Oh, that was not scary at all. No, I didn't know you could get in the face with that little spring. <laughs> He was scaring me so bad with the brake line, and I guess it'll just leak forever, but it's not spraying out. Now I'm gonna do this caliper. You got the motor out yet? <laughs> no, that's next week. So I'm taking off the two caliper bolts. I don't know why I'm taking these caliper bolts off for our workout. And this guy is just strictly to undo the rotor. Now, my favorite part is cleaning it. And for this, I'm using the gum out brake cleaner here. Did you videotape me? My face was probably like. Yeah. <laughs> Little did I know, we have to cut the brake shield. So we took the whole thing off. Now I have to take the other side off. And they're cutting it for me because I didn't want to mess with the angle grinder. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> that was a little stuck. This car is always an issue. <laughs> Alright. Can you lift it a little bit? Try. There we go. 
trail. Okay. So you're gonna walk back like we did over here, but you're not gonna set it back in here until I have the axle completely out, okay? Oh, that's disgusting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come a little bit towards you and up. Okay. <laughs> set this up there. Yay! Thanks, guys. Well, they have Oh, God, they are. <laughs> Big boys. I don't know saying. God, this color is unreal. What do you think, Sam? Those look so sick. It's much more of a mature teal than what I have on my car now. Those are nasty. Now th these are the big ones. Yeah. Oh god, look at this box difference. Uh -huh. <laughs> Those are so big. <laughs> what? Those are massive compared to my head. We're definitely gonna have to reach out to Willwood and get some like white vinyl, laser cut vinyl that say Willwood, just cause it's really hard to powder coat little letters like that and mask it all off, so. It'll look really clean. And this color has a really nice little flake to it. I didn't want to do a completely flat color cause my paint's a little bit sparkles, so I have to throw sparkles everywhere. This is a translucent powder coating color, so you actually had to do a silver base. Otherwise, this thing would be not this pretty without the base color. That's what gives it so much depth is that it's like a two-stage powder coat. I made everyone's life a little bit harder on choosing this color, but well worth it. Came out really nice. We're gonna clean these with brake cleaner after we touch it, so we'll get rid of our hand grease and everything off the rotor, so I'm not too worried about getting it dirty. God, those are razor sharp. So with these guys, we figured you feel it grab right away. You have to push down. Your audience is going to be so proud of you using real tools now. Snap on, baby. This is what happens when you go to GPI. You got to use all the nice tools that work. You feel like 140 inch pounds? Eh, it's finger tight. <laughs> Click. Beautiful. All right, four down. Ready to go. It's like very sensitive. If you don't push down, it starts backing out. You would think 140 inch pounds would be a lot, but it's actually pretty easy. Snap on, is this how you use it? Not the tools, it's the mechanic. Oh. Am I a mechanic or a technician? <laughs> Neither. I've gotten no roles yet. Kayla is the certified tool holder. I am holding the tool. Oh. That means, hey, hold the rotor. I'm amazed that you're allowed to touch important parts of the car like this. You could touch any part. The pistons, the rings, the crankshafts, the inner holes of your motor with my fingers. Oh my gosh. It might just not stop or go. It's the very last bolt of the other side. Just applying constant pressure down, tighten it all the way to 140. Inch pounds. Yeah, I was gonna say foot pounds would be a little aggressive for brakes. For these little guys too. Boom, and that's it. Now I gotta go take off the caliper and the lines on the driver front side, and then we can get the other uh, rotors on, and we can see what those look like. We'll have to put in the pads and everything and test those tomorrow. But I'm excited to see these in my car. I originally thought these were the fronts, but I was They're wrong. They're just like huge. Because this surface is smaller, so that's how I knew it was for the rear. Because the surface for the other rotors are way bigger, which you want a biggest, bigger surface area on the front for more uh, braking power. 
because it has more surface area to hold. So yeah. These are huge. They, they are massive. These look like the stock front brakes on your car. I think these might be bigger than my stock front brakes. <laughs> And these are the rears. <laughs> oh, did you throw, oh, you didn't throw the other one away. We should do a comparison. We should, we can. All right, now we're on the rear brake setup, and I got everything put together along with the little nipple for the brake lines. So first, I just need to put on the rear bracket, and I'm just gonna, I put two shims on here before we slide it on, and then it came with these little nuts that are 12 point, and we're gonna tighten it on the back. And these kind of sit tight, so you do have to snug it on really well. All right, for the bracket, we do have to put a shim before you put it, the caliper bolt all the way through. So the shim should be against the surface of your hub. I hear you talking about me. No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> <laughs> there we go, and it fits. Rotor time. I don't think, maybe these do lock on. They don't really have a lock thing like on the front, so I guess we put them wherever we want. And before you put the rotor on, there is a little adapter ring that you have to put on the hub, so don't forget that adapter ring, otherwise this won't seat properly. And that seats in so nice, and make sure the arrow faces forward because arrows are always on tires and the rotors to face which way it goes because I, people are always wondering if my rotors are on the wrong way and the arrow is facing that way so it is on the correct way not the wrong way. Now with my caliper to make my life easier I'm going to attach the brake line and you don't need any grease or lube or seam sealer stuff to put those on. I'm gonna go grab a wrench that fits this fitting. Perfect! Okay, now we're putting the caliper on the rotor and the bracket. See if she fits and she... Oh God, oh God, hey, no. <laughs> no, no. We'll be back in 10 minutes. <laughs> Give us four hours. It's freaking tight, I need my mallet. 